welcome uh, back to my channel. Uh, in the previous video, I already introduced you to this uh, this machine right here called the Sparkle machine, which you can order one from uh, Amazon for about hundred bucks. Previous video, I already show you that uh, you can use this machines to make uh, sparkling water. Basically. I got a bottle right here, you just fill it up to the line right there and you want some uh, your sparkling water to be a little cold, so, uh, drop a few cubes of, of ice and then it will make uh, sparkling water. But uh, in order to make the uh, sparkling water, you need this two uh, 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 packet number one, it's called the uh, granulated uh, citric acid. Uh, packet number two is called uh, granulated sodium bicarbonate. So you can order order uh, this from Amazon, but pretty expensive. But I'm gonna show you. Uh, you can do it cheaper, a cheaper way to do it. So basically, for the uh, for the citric acid. You can buy this from, uh, you can buy in bulk. So this is a, a 10 pound uh, citric acid called milliard, milliard uh, citric acid. Uh, 10 pound of this costs about 25 bucks. So you can use this for probably a whole year, even two years because, yeah, it probably last you over, uh, over a year. So cheaper this way, instead of buying this kind of, you know, the packets from the from Amazon and for the uh, so this is a citric, citric acid and for the uh, granulated uh, sodium bicarbonate basically it's just what it means is baking soda so so let's uh, let's show you how to do this thing I already cut this up and measured already so one of this packet equal to one tablespoon. I already did that in the previous video. One packet this equal to one tablespoon right here. So, so the ratio is about the same one to one. The uh, citric acid to the uh, baking soda or the uh, sodium bicarbonate. So the ratio is one to one. So basically just cut this. So it's cheaper if you, if you go this route. Instead of buying those uh, the packet from so this is exactly the same thing right here. See that? This is a citric acid. So what you do is just scoop one scoop of this right here. Just put in this hole right here. That's a citric acid. For the packet B, the uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is exactly what it is, a uh, baking soda. So you mix those two together, you know, it produces that, uh, that gas. So that's how you make the sparkling water. Cheap right here, you can buy this uh, was that 16 ounce of baking soda has cost you 50 cents right here from Aldi. So it's... One tablespoon of that go into that hole right here. Okay, let's show you a little bit right here what the reaction is. If you just put a uh, little bit of uh, the citric acid in there, all right, and then put the baking soda in there, see what, what the uh, reaction, chemical reaction will be. You see? You see that? They produce that bubble right there, see? As a chemical reaction, so the baking soda and the citric acid that making that bubble. So you can see right here. But the 
See when you mix those two together and the machine what to do is like uh, so there's a little water reservoir on the back right there and uh, when you turn on the machine that water will mix those two together and recreate gas. Gas which pump into this bottle right there will make it a bubble and then you get the sparkling water basically. It's simple as that. The first thing you do is, is make sure you fill up the bag right here, water up to the line right here. There's a line right here. Make sure you have water in the bag. And fill up this water to the line right here. Just a little bit on the line there. And I put a couple cube of uh, ice in there. So I like to uh, drink, you know, uh, cold. A sparkling water so I cup, uh, drop a cup of ice in there and you put in this and make sure you close this lid right here just close it and pull it down pull down the handle and the number one two three four five depending on what the uh, the number five, the number one is like if you don't want a lot of bubble in the uh, in your sparkling uh, water. Number five, the highest, I like a lot of uh, gas in there, so I'm gonna push number five, and then right here the bar, uh, there's a turn it on. Now that's it. See, number five will take about about. A little over close to two minutes to do it look at <laughs> if you see water spilling out do not open this lid right here this lid don't open this lid while the machine is running and if you do that the the this is the you know the two pouch that you put in there the citric acid the baking soda if you do that the the the, the powder probably explode out there do not never lift the lid while the uh, while this handle is down the hand is down when you, uh, in order to uh, machine to work, you, the, this handle has to be down. So if you see any water spilling out or something, just lift the handle up to uh, disconnect the machine. But never lift up this, this uh, lid right here. Never do that. Alright, you see that sound? I mean, it's done. Now you can lift it up. Alright. See, there's a little button on the top right there. Just press it down to release the gas before you open the, uh, the bottle. A little bit, see, the gas come out. See all the spark, the, see all the air coming out, sparkling, the bubble, the bubble right there, and then uh, give it a taste. Nice, eh? Oh, this is good. You know, it's, Sometimes you don't want to drink plain water. This is the best way to do it. You know, sparkling water basically has zero calorie and uh, nothing else, just water. So it's nice. Let's, uh, let's do a second one, but this time I'm going to add some uh, water enhancer to it. Right here. Got some of this water enhancer, but if you don't want to drink plain, you know, sparkling water, just add some water enhancer. So let's do a, a second one. Get into this hole right here. Close the lid. Sure the lid is close and uh, push the handle down push whatever you want number one two three or four depending on how many bubble you want in your 
water right there, push number five, and that's it. All right, it's done. Let's, uh, oh, we don't forget right here, there's a little thing on the top right here, push that to release the gas first before you uh, open the lid. See? And, uh, okay. See? See the sparkling water? Alright, the sparkling water right here. Now you can flavor it with any. Uh, I need of this. I bought some of this from uh, Walmart right there called the uh, liquid uh, water enhancer. Right here, I got right here is like orange and tangerine. So just go drop some of that. All right, just mix it up. Oh, look at the fit. See that? Look at that. You can enhance it with any, uh, you know, any flavor you want, mango, peach, or lime. Just buy some of this from uh, Walmart called a water enhancer, liquid water enhancer. So squirt a little bit of here. What I got is a uh, orange tangerine flavor right here, really nice. That tastes like soda, basically, if you add the, the uh, liquid enhancer in there. Really, really tastes like soda, like oil soda now. So, uh, this thing here right here has zero, zero calorie, basically. The water enhancer, zero calorie. You can buy this from Aldi or Walmart. So just add it here, it's like, uh, now it's, it tastes like oil soda. So, but without the sugar in it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, I hope you buy this machine. I'm really recommended uh, if you don't want to drink soda, because uh, sparkling water basically basically has zero calorie. You just drink water, and the machine is cost one hundred dollar, and the baking soda is pretty cheap, and the uh, citric acid ten pound of citric acid is only twenty five bucks. It'll last you a whole year because. Each time you use it, you only need one scoop of citric acid and one scoop of baking soda, uh, one tablespoon of each. So, thank you again for watching, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye.